Greetings. I'm making this video to explain my setup of the Nest E thermostat. Like many of you, no doubt, I did some research for wiring diagrams and explanations about the dreaded C wire and found nothing exactly like what I needed. Google was no help, they just refer you to a professional installer. I found bits and pieces of info here and there and I decided to splice it all together and attempt an installation. Some backstory first. My system is for heating only using a diesel fired furnace. The previous owner of the house used 16-3 cable to go to the simple mercury switch type thermostats. I know not why, but it turned out to be a fortunate circumstance. The thermostats connect to a Honeywell R845A switching relay. There are 24 volts AC across the relay contacts that the thermostat closes, thus energizing the relay and running the system. This is the schematic. I originally wired the nest with the two wires going to terminals R and W. The unit powered up and operated okay, but I had to tell the Google Home app that I had a C wire, otherwise it wouldn't let me proceed. It worked fine, but it indicated an error condition because there was no C wire. A minor annoyance, I thought. Also, because there was no C wire, every time the nest activated, the closing of the contacts caused it, caused it to lose power since it was in effect shorting out its own power supply. I figured if the heating cycles are short enough, it wouldn't be too much of an issue if the internal batteries can hold out. Under the side effect of this, the Nest display wouldn't illuminate upon approach. As fate would have it, one day I needed to power down the heating system, and when I powered it back up, both Nests had dead batteries. At that point I decided to power the units separately. I found the reference online that suggested tapping off the relay's transformer and running it up to the C-wire terminal. This relay was designed to put out only 200 milliamps. I think the Nest would pull more than that, so I decided against that option. I purchased this 24 volt doorbell transformer and now had to figure out the wiring. Pulling new 16.5 wire wasn't an option as the aforementioned previous owner stapled the wires to the studs while the sheetrock was off and I wasn't about to open the walls. That's when I came up with this solution. Running one side of the doorbell transformer secondary to one side of the secondary of the switch, then running the other wire from the doorbell transformer to the C terminal and leaving the other wire on the W as it was before. Well, oh, apparently the Nest likes this as it no longer displays a wiring error. It's been working for a few weeks now, and uh, I have yet to run into any problems. The doorbell transformer runs on the warm side, powering two Nests. It runs about 111 degrees, which is warm to the touch, but it's not enough to overheat the unit. So that's my setup. Now for the legal stuff. If you try this, you're on your own. I'm no expert on this field. I take no responsibility. Proceed at your own risk. Power down your system while you work on the wiring. Feel free to comment below if you want to tell me whether you think it's a good idea or a bad idea or if you just want to make fun of my Brooklyn accent. Thanks and good luck.